So I'm working on a video on how to stream to YouTube and get views, and I realized as I'm editing it that my green screen is just filthy, and yet I somehow am able to make it look like this. And once I make it look like this, then I can make it look like anything, such as this. And I thought to myself, how do I get this green screen to look like anything I want it to be, even though it's just like, look how disgusting this is. It's full of wrinkles and <laughs> it's got different shades of green. It's really bright up here. It's really dark over here. How do, how do I make it look so crisp? And that way, when I remove it, it removes everything and doesn't leave little green spotches. So I'm going to show you guys that really quickly in just a couple minutes on how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a clip that we want to edit. And so we're using Premiere Pro today. And so this is going to be a guide for this software specifically. And so if you're using this, this is going to help you out really quickly. So the first thing you're going to do is, you know, you're going to be up here on one of your tabs. You're going to click on color because that's how we're going to start changing the color of our green screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to select every single shade of green, whether it's light green here or it's a darker green up here in the corners. And we're going to tell it that we want it to be a different color. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to use these little eyedroppers here to go ahead and start picking different colors. So here I'm going to eyedrop and we're going to pick the shade of green right here. Now we don't know what we, we just selected something, but we don't really know what we selected. So to be able to see what you've collected, you're going to go down here to color gray and you're going to enable it. Once it's enabled it, you're going to see everything that you've selected by the color. So you can see all this green here. We just selected all that green. There's a lot of stuff that's whited out. That means it hasn't been selected. So we're going to go ahead and take our eyedropper with the plus sign. And that's going to say, we also want to select this color. If you do this color, it's going to reset. So it's going to change the color we grabbed. See? So make sure you're using the one with the plus symbol and it's saying we want to take this shade of green, but we also want to take this darker shade of green. We're telling it we want to take this sh shade of green as well. And you're going to keep doing this until you got the majority of the greens. Now if you accidentally select the wrong thing, oops, I selected myself. You're just going to hit control Z and to undo it. And you're just going to do this to get the majority of it out. Now don't worry about it being perfect because we can do other things to make it look good as well. But once we got the majority of the colors here, then we're going to move on to the next step. So just spend a second getting all of the different colors. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and just scrub through your scene because as you move around, the lighting might change and it's going to potentially have some light spots and dark spots. So you're going to want to go ahead and scrub through your clip and just see if there's any spots that appear to have not been selected. Now, so far we did a really good job, it looks like. I'm not really seeing any light spots. So here it gets a little grainy. It looks like there might be something we can pick up. Let's just see what happens. No, not really. So I think we pretty much got everything. Pretty good job. Now, if you do have some little spotchy spots, <laughs> spotchy spots, I really just say that. All you have to do is you can go down here and you can increase these to in in and choose how much green you've selected. And so you can increase and decrease that as, you're ne as you need to, to make sure you have everything selected. And if you selected too much, you can just decrease it. Okay, from here, now is where we're going to change. We just selected all the different green colors, and now we're going to tell that green color what we want it to look like. And so we're going to do that through this correction here. So we're going to select green. And then once we've, once we've selected the color of green we want it to be, we're going to increase the color saturation all the way up. So we're going to raise that all the way. Boom, there we go. Our green screen's starting to look good. Even though there are, this is a really light uh, green up here, a really dark green. So it might not be able to uh, remove it all with one chroma key remover. So we want to make sure that we go into the individual colors here by th clicking the three circles. And we're going to go ahead and make our shadows green. We're going to increase the brightness of our shadows. We're going to make our highlights green and we're going to decrease the color of our highlights. It's going to make the bright areas darker and the dark areas brighter by doing what we just did. And you're just going to max out your midtones and make that green as well. Now everything is looking very similar in color. Everything's looking really green. And now you have a green screen that can go ahead and be removed. So if we remove our color gray, now you're going to see what I look like with that green screen. And you can just watch it and see how it looks. And really that green screen looks really good. And now all you have to do is go down to effects, type in your ultra key. And since all the green is one color, all you have to do is just select green and it's going to remove your whole background. And there, now you can make your background anything you want it to be. Whatever is behind it, it's going to show. Since I have no background, it's just a black blank slate. You do see there's some uh, stuff in the corner here. And that's just because I have, uh, you can see this edge of my green screen. That's actually the clip of my green screen, as well as some uh, dark spots that didn't get picked up. So all you have to do, if you want, is you can simply crop that out 
So you can just add a crop to this um, by looking in the effects, apply a crop to it, and then you can just crop it out, no big deal. Okay, so let's say you followed those directions perfectly. You cropped out all of the green that you could find. You made sure to get it all in the eyedropper. You, you made the green screen look really, really good, and you removed it, and you get this really grainy, this really graining area in the corners and it just doesn't look good at all and when you put a background on it you still see that graininess well what that is is actually when you apply your green screen it has one specific setting that's really important and it and if you go down to your uh, ultra key and you click on spill suppression this is one of the most important things for cleaning this up you click on spill suppression the luma is automatically set to 50 and usually that looks really good usually a set to 50 looks really good what this is doing is it's kind of cleaning up those grainy areas automatically for you but if it applies too much what happens is you actually end up losing some of the uh, quality of the stuff that's not the color green so you can kind of see you start to lose some of my hair it doesn't look as good and it kind of makes it a really sharp edge and so it's automatically set to 50 when you apply it and sometimes it's too much sometimes it's not enough so if it, if you have that really bad graininess it means you probably just need to increase the luma key a little bit just to get rid of it and that will clean up all those really weird grainy areas that just don't look good okay that's my guide on how to make your green screen look really good and to get rid of it if you have a kind of mismatchy discolored green screen like I do. It doesn't matter. You can still make it look super crisp. All right. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.